Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, we are back in the Kyger home. It is about 4.30, 4.45, and so all is quiet here. Um, but I'm bringing you here this early because for session number two of our video, we are going to be talking about um, finding our spot and how to make the Bible applicable. So, you know, we left off with the story of Daniel and Daniel found himself at this point in his journey. He had to put what he read from the Bible into action. You know, so we talked in our last video about the pressure and how it's inevitable anytime that we're in life, you're going to get to a season where you feel pressure and your skills, your abilities are going to be tested. What do you do when that happens? And not only your skills and abilities will be tested, but your faith is also going to be tested as well. And that's the point where Daniel's at, you know, and, and in those moments when that, when the pressure's on and it's game on, like we said, what do you do? What do you stand on? What foundation do you stand on? And what confidence do you have? And so when we go through those moments and even as a teenager, and I mean, sometimes now as an adult, I think when I'm reading my Bible, when am I going to apply this? When is this going to be applicable to my life? And that's what Daniel did. Daniel found himself, you know, in a situation, I'm sure, um, being younger and being in a completely new land on his own, now as a slave, um, but he found him in a situation where what he had read in his studies, what he had read as a teenager and as a young child in the Bible, in the Word of God, he found himself face to face with the situation where something he's read was coming to life. And Daniel decided to take a step of faith and, like I said earlier, put his money where his mouth is and call this dude out, call the officials out. And we're gonna look at Daniel 1, 12 through 16, 12 through 18. And in this part of the scripture and says, you know what, we are not going to eat this food. And not only are we gonna eat this food, but I'm going to challenge you. We're not gonna eat this food for this amount of days. And if we can do this at the end of the day, our, I want you to compare us. Compare us to the men that are eating your food from your officials, you know, your, your meats, your, your drinks and compare it to us and and my friends you know us who are only eating our vegetables we're not eating wine we're only eating our vegetables in the water compare our physical physique and let's see after these 10 days which one of us looks better in appearance which one of our physical bodies um is better is stronger is built for the duration is built for the long haul i mean that's a pretty gutsy move to say to an official when you are a slave if he didn't have god 100% that wouldn't be a smart move, but he did. And he knew it because he had a faith and because he had a basis and because he had a foundation in the word of God that started when he was little. And so he was able to put that challenge out there. He was able to say, you know what? No, game on, buck up, let's get big, face me and my God. Now, how does this apply to you? It applies to you in a very simple way. You getting that application and and you finding your time and your spot um, and getting into the Word of God. And so that's why we're in my house today because I wanted to bring you to one of my very special places and that is my living room. And this is very special to me because I'm gonna show this around to you. Yeah, that right there is where I have my quiet time every morning. So every morning when I get up, I make my little cup of coffee and I come out here and this is where I have my quiet time. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, you need to find a spot that is yours, that you can make your own, that you can feel comfortable in. Um, and then your second step is you need to get a Bible. There are lots of different translations out there. This one is a study Bible and it helped me when I first started to read the Bible. It even helps me now still. Um, look into things like the message. If if reading is a little bit tough for you, words are a little bit tough for you, the message is a great version that reads more like a story and makes the Bible really um, understandable and really easy to relate to. The amplified version is like the Bible on steroids because it goes into a lot of detail. Like each word has multiple meanings in it. And so if you're someone who likes words and likes to know things in depth, the um, amplified version would be great for you. Do some research, find a Bible, find um, a version that is easy for you to read and that you can understand. The next thing that you need to really focus on and the last step in this is as you start reading, 
start asking yourself questions and you know it's 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 challenging and a little bit daunting to start reading the bible at first especially when you're not sure where to go but i'd recommend starting in the book of john john is a really good book because it's like the love letter of god and it's it's all about god's love and so if you're if you're struggling start in the book of john and then maybe move to psalms or maybe move to proverbs and go from there it may take a little bit for the bible to feel like it comes alive but it will and the more that you dig into it the more that you read and the more that you ask questions and the more that you are jotting things down in the margins of your bible and writing down notes in your bible the more the bible is going to come alive what we can take away from daniel is the fact that when the trial came when the pressure came and daniel had to make a choice between saying no i'm gonna fold or game on he was able to say game on because of his foundation in the word and so be blessed guys we'll catch you back next week bye